Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Titanic Brewery and it was kindly sent to me by bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. It is the Plum Porter, coming in at 4.9% ABV. Now this has got a really good Christmas feel to the beer. It sounds and reads on the back. It says rich and it's rounded and it's kind of strong. It's what you want in the winter. So, as I say, check out Best of British Breath or BritishBeers.co.uk. They've got a great Christmas selection of beers on at the moment. It's from the, as I say, this from the Titanic Brewery. Nice bottle cap there. Nice bit of smoke. Let's get it into a glass. Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks really kind of dark, deep and refreshing. This is a totally different drink from the other beer I've had from the Titanic Brewery and that was their Iceberg. But the Iceberg I thought was a superb beer. Uh, so one finger head is slightly off-white, a bit of a tan colour to it. The beer in the glass it almost looks like a kind of plum colour. It's got that deep mahogany look with a, with a kind of nice kind of ready purple <sighs> Plums are purple, aren't they? But it kind of got that kind of ready kind of tinginess to it. it. Looks good. Looks really good. Let's get a nose on the beer then. Nice level of carbonation also streaming from the side of the glass. Oh, that, wow, wow, wow. That smells fantastic. That smells deep and forestry and fruity and it smells... Oh, like a really sweet kind of fruit plum in there. Mmm, with a hint of spice. Oh, this smells absolutely fantastic. I have got to dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. It's deep. It's dark. It's got hints of caramel coffee. There's a bitterness to it. I'd say from English kind of Fuggles hops. Or Styrian Golden. Somewhere along that kind of line. It's quite earthy. But then you get this really deep kind of on the back of the palate taste of this sweet plum. Oh, this is a good beer. Mm. Oh yeah, the malt, the malt is singing to me. It's kind of saying, this is the malt. This is kind of nice and sweet and bready with the kind of plum fruitiness to this. Oh. oh, it's lovely. It's a lovely, lovely beer. I've got to get the rest of this into the glass. Oh, this is... Um, this could very well be a favourite of mine over Christmas. This really is a nice Christmas brew. Oh. It's just a lovely bitterness to it as well. It's that classic, but it's kind of huge. The gap is huge. There's a really nice strong bitterness at the start, but then as that bitterness kind of dissipates away towards the middle, there's this sweetness that rises from the from the other side of the palate, and it's oh, it's um, it's sending my taste buds into a frenzy. It really is. I'm enjoying that. Really enjoying it. Hmm. What do they say about the Titanic Plum Porter? This beer is strong, 
sorry, this beard is dark, strong and well rounded. The richness of such a rounded beer is brought to an even keel by the late addition of Golding's hops and natural plum favourings. That's Styrian Golding. I always I always manage to pick that hop out now. Um, and that's thanks to a head brewer. Uh, when I went on a course in March and he explained to me exactly what you get from Styrian Goldings. And I've kind of picked it up ever since. Always pick it up in a beer. It's that kind of classic spicy kind of taste of the beer. Okay, um, I want to give out the website for Titanic Brewery. Um, it looks like it's not on yet. I, I really hope it is. It doesn't look like it is, to be honest. If you just Google Titanic Brewery UK or Titanic Brewery, I'm pretty much sure you'll find their beer. Oh, oh, as I say, get it on bestbeer.co.uk. Time for a rating then for this one. Mm. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The spiciness, the kind of Christmas spiciness, the the fruit, the plum, the the the, the, the porter aspect of the beer. I haven't really touched on the porter aspect of the beer much, but it's it's just a wonderful kind of chocolate and caramel hints of coffee. It's it's a lovely beer. I'm going to give this nothing nothing less. No, nothing less than a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. It's, I'm going to take this away it and enjoy it now. Um, but thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like and cheers.